Another thing you can do with Mixcraft is to make mashups or beat match some music or create DJ mixes that smoothly transition from one song to another, not just fading in and out from one another, but actually matching the tempo of one to the other as they, as they transition. Um, or you can make like dance remixes where you take some cool drum beats and add them to your favorite songs to make them more danceable. Doing all those things requires you to understand how to manipulate the tempo of a track inside of Mixcraft, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Let's take a look at the new project window as before and choose option number two, which is build loop and beat match music. Once we do that, let's not even play with the project settings. Let's let uh, Mixcraft do the work for us. So I'll close this window or minimize Mixcraft and hunt around for a cool file. How about this thing, the song? holding my mouse down and dropping it on the timeline there's the song once I do that we get that little pesky box that says use the best sounding project tempo um, yeah we want to do that this time before I click yes though I'm going to take a note of what tempo Mixcraft came up with and I gotta tell you in advance that the files that I've chosen for this uh, mashup example here are troubled files. These are kind of the worst case scenario. A lot of times when you bring a file into Mixcraft it just identifies the beat correctly and everybody's happy. But in case something goes wrong I'm going to show you how to fix it. So these files have multiple things wrong with them that we're going to fix. Alright? So bear with me. So I'm taking note of this switch to a tempo of 58 BPM and I don't think my song's that slow. 58 BPM is like this uh, super sleepy ballad and this is not that. But I'm going to say yes anyway. Once I do that, I'm going to drag my song over to time zero, beat one, bar one, and see what it sounds like. All right, I got a few problems. I've got the metronome turned on, and I can hear that metronome is not going one, two, three, four. It's going one, rest, two, rest. It's going at a super slow tempo that's not right. Not only that, it's out of sync um, with the start point of my file. Somehow the beep is not anywhere near bar one, beat one. So even if the tempo was off a bit, it would start out on the beat and then drift off. So there's multiple problems here. Let's fix the first one, which is um, the tempo seems to be about half of what it should be. I'm going to double click on the song, and that will bring up the sound edit tab, or I could click on the sound edit tab down here. Once I do that, I can see some analysis markers where Mixcrafts come up with a tempo for this file, and um, this 59 business is probably not right. Um, a lot of times, if something does go wrong, what goes wrong is Mixcraft comes up with a tempo that's half or double what it should be, and they've even provided a button to fix that particular case. So if you look here on the left, we've got some options. One of them is detected tempo. You can see our detected tempo, 58.96221. No, 96621. There is a button that says double or half the current tempo. Let's double. I'm going to click it one time, and now I've got a tempo of 117.9. Boy, that's close to 118. I'm going to guess that this song is really at 118. And I'm going to believe in that, so I'm going to go over to the project settings, and I'm going to change the project tempo to 118. Or 117.9 if you want to type that, but I'm just going to do 118. And hit enter. Rewind to the beginning. Hit play. All right, that was better. At least our metronome's kind of going the right tempo, but its start point is still off. We're not totally synced up. Let's fix that next. If I double click on the file, bring up our editor again, and then place my mouse over the waveform down below here. If I start to use the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in and see the start of my file. And here we can see we've got a couple problems. One problem is that the snap point, where our file snaps when we're dragging it on the timeline, is not on a drum beat, and it needs to be. So let's find a convenient drum beat, like the first one, and drop our snap point on it. So far, so good. The second problem is we've got some dead air here at the start of the file, and I don't like that. Um, you can have dead air, but I just I want to change the loop point, the loop start, so that if we loop this uh, little bit of music, if it's a beat, a bunch of times the loop will stay in sync. It won't go out of sync as it's been looped. So I'm going to move that loop start right there. Once that's fixed, I should be able to uh, take another listen and see if we've succeeded. All 
All right, cool. We've succeeded. That's great. Now we've got Mixcraft following our song tempo, and um, we can add other elements. We can either drag loops and drum beats from the library to add to our song, or we can bring in some more files. Let's bring in another file from the outside. I've got kind of a danceable beat here. Um, Jam and Groove Mixcraft MP3. Let's bring that guy in and drop him on the timeline. And um, let's mute our original song and just listen to the Jam and Groove. All right, we got a jam and groove. That is cool, um, but it's not in sync. Usually, again, when you bring a loop into or a file like this into Mixcraft, it will analyze that file. Beat matching is turned on, so it should have automatically um, identified the correct tempo for this thing, and we would have been done. But this particular file and um, others like it that I generated with Reason don't seem to stay in sync. I could not figure out, tried all the export options in Reason, tried dragging them into iTunes, converting them to MP3s, and it doesn't make any difference. Some files are just not recognized correctly, not analyzed correctly, or at all. But we can fix it. Let's double click on this file, and um, we can see the file down below. Let's zoom in, check our sync point issues. Yeah, loop start could be better, but it's, it's a lot better than what we had going on before. Okay, we can zoom back out. Um, but our tempo is, is off. There's kind of two ways we could fix it. We could just warp this thing. We know that this thing is um, eight bars long, or we think it's eight bars long. We've counted it out. We can just use the time squashing features to squash this guy down to eight bars. To do that, hold down the control key and get near the end of the waveform up here in the uh, mixing window. And you can see something pops up that has two little hands, and that says stretch time with flex audio. Once you grab, you can see we're making this, spacing these drum beats way out. We can make this bit be as many bars long as we want it to be. So if we want it to be 12 bars long, we could. Doesn't really help us in our syncing problem, but you could just by trial and error find the correct length with um, time stretching. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo. And I'm going to switch our time stretching mode to adjust to project tempo mode. Once I do that, I need to um, make sure the detected tempo is correct for this file. Well, that's what's wrong with this file. Mixcraft didn't detect a tempo. So we need to manually figure out what the tempo of this baby is. How do you do that? Um, the easiest way is to get some sort of tap tempo program. So you can download these little freeware tap tempo tools. I have one on my other computer sitting in here. And you just tap the mouse along to the music. After five or six taps, the program will display the tempo of your loop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit play. In fact, I'm going to turn the metronome off and tap along on my other computer. Three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, 135, 135 BPM. That's the correct tempo.